Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, yes indeed, noble citizens of the Williamsburg Regional Library System. My name is Jonathan Austin. They call me Jonathan the Juggler. Hi, Jonathan. Now, earlier I did a show for one and all, a command performance for the finest people. But this time I'm gonna show you a little bit behind the scenes. If I'm not doing a juggling and magic show, I like to read. I have a book right here. It's called The World's Greatest Juggler. Yes, indeed, the world's greatest juggler. Let's hop to it, no time like the present. Here he is, boys and girls, the world's greatest juggler. Up go two eggs, up, up, and away. Up go three hamburgers, up, 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 and away. Up go four fish, up, 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 and away. Up go five tricycles, up, 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 and away. Up goes one skunk. Wait a minute. One skunk? Uh-oh. Down come two eggs. Watch out. Plop, plop. Down come three hamburgers. Watch out. Flop, flop, flop. Down come four fish. Watch out. Crash, 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 crash. Down come five tricycles. Watch out. Smash, 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 smash. Down comes one skunk. One mad skunk. Run! That's a book I really like to read. It's called The World's Greatest Juggler. With that, allow me to take my hat off and show you some juggling. Right here, right now, I present Better Than The Circus, juggling. Yes, indeed, one, two, three, four rings and what? Whoa. I finish in fine fashion. Let me put the juggling rings aside, put my hat back on, and now I shall juggle five objects at once. Oh, that's right. Not three, not four, but I'm going to max it out right here by juggling five at once. Watch closely at home, and I'm going to go for it. One, two, three, four, five. Like so. Yes, indeed. One problem. I don't know how to stop. Ha! There you have it. Once again, everything is accounted for. I take inventory, and the parts are there. Now friends, this time, I'd like to teach you some of the tricks of the trade. Let's prepare. I'll get that ring aside. Bring out this right here. Now friends, first, I will teach everybody a card trick. Yes, indeed, a card trick like no other. First, I'll demonstrate a trick for you. I have a pack of cards, no trick packs. I'll take out a card. It's the king of diamonds. I put the king of diamonds back. Let me choose a card that's totally different. There's one, a six of clubs. We put the six of clubs back. And now friends, I have king of diamonds and the six of clubs. I mix them up, yes indeed. <laughs> I'll even cut the cards, the top. On the bottom, the bottom, on the top. You there? I turn over the top card. It's the red king of diamonds with a K on it. You see the king of diamonds? I will now take the king of diamonds and rub it on my arm. Brace yourselves. Look at what the king of diamonds has turned into, oh my goodness, it's the black six of clubs. Something I learned from a library book. Now, let me teach you how to do a trick. I'll demonstrate the trick, then I'll teach you how to do it. I'm gonna put some cards out. You get somebody to yell stop. Doesn't matter, I'll stop right there. Everybody see? I'll put the rest of the cards aside. Let me gather them up. 
Oh my, look at this. I have a book right here. This notebook has my prediction. I open it. It says, you will stop on the four of hearts. You will stop on the four hearts. Let's see if I stopped on the four of hearts. I pick it up and crash, boom, bam, pickle, wickle. There is the four of hearts. How did he do it, you ask? Some of you are wondering, why did he do it? A mystery for the ages. Let me show you how to do that. You don't need to know cards. You don't have to count. You don't need to know one card from another. All you need is a spectator as you put down the cards to call out stop. It does not matter when they say stop. So I'm putting the cards down. You can see, you can see, yes indeed. I'll just stop right there. Here's what I did in front of everybody. I did not just put the notebook on top of that. I actually had the four of hearts under the notebook. So I just put the notebook on top. I picked up the card like that. Then I picked up the notebook. I opened it up. Ahead of time, I wrote, you will stop on the four of hearts doesn't matter when they stop because you picked it up and put it on there it's the four of hearts i have gotten so much mileage out of that trick right there and i hope you do too all you need a pack of cards whichever card you want to choose i chose the four of hearts you just put it under there like that once again they say stop doesn't matter where they stop. You pick up the four hearts and the notebook together, make sure they don't see that, or the plot will be revealed. You put it right there, good to go. You're the hit of the next party. <laughs> you pick up the notebook, you open up the prediction, you will stop on the four hearts, and look, there it is. You like that? Well, check out some more books at the James City County Public Library or the Williamsburg Public Library and learn how to do some magic. Let me show you another really neat one. One of the first tricks I ever learned. You take a coin. Watch the coin. I'm just playing with it right now. But now to do the trick. You have a coin? A real coin? I shall place into the other hand, you can see it. I place into the other hand. Stare, be aware. I look at the hand that has the coin. I shall proceed to blow on the hand. And it's gone. G-O-N-E, gone. No more. Now you see my hands are empty. Watch this. Nothing to hide. I shall reach up to my ear and look at that. I will pull the coin out of my ear. I'm a cashier. <laughs> Allow me to show you how to do that. You have a coin. If you want to be a magician, you must play the part of a magician. I picked it up. The first time, I actually placed it into the other hand. The second time, I did the same. But the third time, ha, 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 I acted like I placed it in the other hand. I actually had the coin right here. But 50% of the trick is the fact that I looked at the hand 
that was supposed to have the coin. There's nothing in this hand because the coin's there. Blow. Show it's gone. Now at this point, you could pull it out of somebody's ear. Everyone loves that because nobody else is around for me today. I acted like I took a coin out of my ear. I did not really, but you know what I did do? I practiced all the time. I did it to the point where it looked like it went in the other hand. But in fact, it stayed right there. That's magic for you. Blow, gone, pulled out of your ear. Amazing, stupendous, perhaps a tad bit ridiculous. Watch again. It's called the retention pass. Ha. You see? Gone. Pulled out of your ear. If you like that, there are so many fabulous books written on how to do coin magic. The most famous is Bobo's Coin Magic. B-O-B-O -B -O apostrophe S. Coin Magic. Perhaps your library has it. Hmm, they have so many great books at the Williamsburg Regional Library System. Allow me to show you one more. You know what's great about these tricks I'm showing? You don't need to spend a lot of money ordering props. If you have a pack of cards and a coin and now some rubber bands, you will have a magic show. Now, you have to practice before you do it. There are three rules to being a magician. The first, you never, ha, huh, practice in public. Make sure you can do these tricks before you go out and do them for everybody. You never practice in public. The second rule of being a magician, you never do the same trick twice. It's like watching a movie again. If you do the same trick twice, the audience is going to know what to look for. And the third rule, smart readers, I think you know. You never tell how the tricks are done. So you're asking, why am I doing this? I am teaching you the tricks. So I take off the magician hat and put on the teaching hat. With that, I now have on the magician's hat. Yes, supposed to make me look 10 years younger. I'm gonna demonstrate. Then I'll teach. You see on these two fingers, right there, on the index and middle finger, I pull it back. And before you, I open my hand, ha! Majestically jumping to the other two fingers. Oh my goodness, let me know if it's too much. This time, I will place on my three fingers, the pinky, the smallest, nothing. Watch. Close up my hand as before. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Come out squeaky clean, and it jumps to the pinky. Now the last one. Let me show you. I'll put the orange one right there. This is the best. I take the green rubber band and I twist it at the top so there's no way the orange rubber band can come off. Or so one might think. Yes, indeed. You see it's on those two fingers. Nothing there to stop it. Nothing up my sleeves. Mm. Perhaps a dryer sheet, but nothing up my sleeves except for me. <laughs> and I'm not all there. You see? Watch. Yes, indeed. The grand finale of the rubber bands. It jumps through the green one and to the other two fingers. Oh, yeah. Allow me to teach you how to do this. I learned this when I was 15. I do it every day. I still love this trick right here. Your right hand doesn't matter too much. You want to look at your palm. 
So the audience sees the back of your hand. It's best to do everybody having, needing to be in front of you, if you will. If people are on your back of you, it may be revealed. So watch. Two fingers. Here's what I did. I placed all four fingers inside the rubber band. I placed the rubber band between the knuckles. I pretend like all four fingers are glued together. Don't really do that. But watch. I pretend I open up all four at the same time. And it jumps over. Please do not ask me for the scientific explanation of that trick as I do not know the scientific explanation of that trick. <laughs> Tricks are for kids, silly rabbit. I'm being serial. <laughs> Watch. Two fingers. Most people, they put just two in and go like that. Not too impressive. Or they just put it on those two fingers, open it up, flies off. Not so exciting. Watch again. It is best to learn from a magician. Let me show you. You see on those two fingers? Pull it down and back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put all four in there. Watch again. Two fingers. This is what the audience sees. Bam! What you see is this. Watch. Two fingers. All four in, open up all four, and it jumps over. Watch again. Practice, practice, practice. Cha. So the audience once again sees this. Ha! Huh. After you can do that, and I know you can, the next part looks so much better but it's just as easy. You see three fingers? It's the exact same trick. Oh my, if it was always this easy. Pull it back, pinky, ring, middle, point your finger, all four in there, open them up, and it jumps to the pinky. Oh my goodness, once again, this is what the audience sees. Bam! Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed, they won't be able to sleep. They will be so amazed, they'll be talking about you for time to come. First, on these two fingers. Bam! Then move it up so it's on the three fingers. The pinky the smallest. And look. Oh my goodness, Williamsburg. Oh, we're going to have some fine magicians when I make a triumphant return. Now you take out a second rubber band. Yes, yes, yes. You place that one on first. This is more of a know-how. You see? You twist it at the top. Watch Again, index twisted towards you, middle twisted away from you, ring twisted back towards you, there it is. If you just look at it, it looks like there's no way the yellow rubber band can move, but here's what actually happens. It jumps over like that. Isn't that so awesome? So watch. It's the exact same trick as the first time only this time, I venture to say, it looks a hundred times better. Oh, oh, oh. A tall order to fill. Watch. At the base of the fingers, down and back. Once again, put all four in. Let it sit between the knuckles. Open up all four. And there you have it, friends. So when you do it for the audience, it looks like this. 
For starters, you must carry yourself with great presence. Stand up straight. Take pride in yourself. I place it on two fingers. Would you believe this? Abracadabra! Bam! Jumps over. Next, I move on to three fingers. Presto! Ha! It jumps to the pinky. And the best one. Yes, indeed. Twisted at the top. There you have it. Hocus pocus, pocus hocus. Ha! It jumps over. Oh my, so today you've learned a card trick, a coin trick, and a rubber band trick. That's a good way to get started. Now check out some books at the Williamsburg Regional Library System and get some more magic. Remember though, never tell how the tricks are done, never practice in public, and never do the same trick twice. I want to bring out my special guest one more time. What does every magician have? Oh my. Look at this. Yes, yes, yes. A magic wand and a rabbit. Reader the rabbit. He loves to read. He loves it when I read to him. And he loves it when he's next to me and I am reading to myself because we keep each other company. Yes, indeed. Friends, I'll see you soon. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there this summer in person, but no need to fret. Next year, ha, I'll come back stronger than ever. And perhaps I'll do another show for you and teach you how to do magic, maybe how to juggle. Don't forget, practice, practice, practice. Now's a good time to learn some. On behalf of the Regional Library System of Williamsburg, I wish you well. Have a wonderful summer in James City County in Williamsburg. This is Reader the Rabbit, and I am Jonathan Austin, Jonathan the Juggler. Till next time, poof!